at the time were there public reports about a corruption investigation involving democrats in new mexico yes sir please describe for the committee now as best you can your entire recollection of that communication please tell us what senator domenici said and what you said thank you sir i was uh, at home this was the only time i'd ever received a call from any member of congress while at home during my tenure as united states attorney for new mexico mr bell called me i was in my bedroom my wife was nearby, and uh, he indicated that uh, the uh, senator wanted to speak with me. He indicated that uh, there were some uh, complaints by some citizens. So I said, okay, and he says, uh, here's, here's, here's the senator. So he handed the phone over, and I recognized the voice as being Senator Pete Domenici. And he wanted to uh, ask me about the corruption matters or the corruption cases that had been widely reported in the local media. I said, all right, and he said, are these going to be filed before November? And I said, I didn't think so. And to which he replied, I'm very sorry to hear that. And then the line went dead. So in other words, he hung up on you. That's how I took that, yes, sir. And he didn't say goodbye or anything no, like sir. that. Now, did you take that of a, as a sign of his unhappiness with your decision? I felt sick afterward. So I felt he was uh, upset that uh, at hearing the answer that he received. Right. And so is it fair to say that you felt pressured to hurry uh, subsequent cases and prosecutions as a result of the call? Yes, sir, I did. I felt uh, leaned on. I felt pressured uh, to uh, get these matters moving. Mm -hmm. And as you say, it was unusual for you to receive a call from a senator at home while you were the U.S. attorney. Unprecedented. It had never happened. Okay, how long after that contact with Senator Domenici were you fired? Approximately six weeks later, five, five, five weeks later. 